Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create an image slider or you can say that shell with terminals. As you can see, this is my project, simple project. Inside there I have a slider, it will change automatically and also you, you can uh, click any slide, it will change the image. So I've used a uh, bootstrap file and basic HTML to design this one project. So let me explain you how you can create this one project. I go to my project file inside there. I have a JS file, uh, bootstrap.js file, three images, not three images. I go to my uh, personal project like this one three images inside the three images have uh, another images same images like uh, image two three and four and also i have a bootstrap dot uh, main file you can get the bootstrap for uh, bootstrap and you, you need to click on that you need to get the 5.1 uh, i think uh, 5.2 is a lot of version of the bootstrap so I'm going to click on that and you just need to click download and then you will get the bootstrap file. So I already download that so I don't need that. So I close this one and I open my code editor inside my code editor have uh, same things like a uh, CSS file, three images inside three images have another folder with the name of indicator images and have a three same images right so first of all um, i close this and write the basic structure of html file and write the image slider or you can say that image crucial with image thumbnail right and then the next thing we need to add the link css which is css and then I need to add a script code to add the JS file, right? Once you add that, then open this one project on the live server. So this is the empty project. So I maximize that. So first of all, we will add the slider. So I'm going to add. Okay, we shall start. And this will be closed. Write that they assign the ID. It is very important. Write any name. Uh, crucial indicator. Crucial. I'm gonna use them. Right. And then I need to go on inside the div and write the div again. Class will be crucial inner. Right. And then inside there i'm gonna add another div assign the class crucial item inside there i need to add the image that will help us to display the image on there so i'm gonna add the image img2 so first solve that and let's see output of this you can't see anything else because we need to add some classes inside this one section so first of all I will use the crucial item will be active first of that let's see image has been appeared inside our project right then the next thing we need to add the class inside the image d block with 100% right so let's see everything is perfect so we need to add more than three images so you need to get this one code and paste two times and remove the active class after the first one change the images and the first one is two three and five so let's see you can't see anything else why because i have used um, some classes inside there it will display behind the first one image so we need to add some classes inside our main div this one div so 
the first one it will be class i will uh, display the equation and also slide it will depend it will display automatically slides after one image second image third one image and also we need to add our data bs right and assign the equation for said that and uh, let's see it will change the images or not so we need to wait I think we need to refresh the page because sometimes it. Um, I think something is wrong on there. Uh, crucial. Okay, uh, here's uh, my mistake, guys. Crucial, and this will also crucial. Crucial, crucial item, crucial everything is perfect i think it should be display the second one slide yes as you can see this is my second one slide and then you will able to see third one slide right it it is very simple process then the next thing i want to display the indicators right and inside the indicators i want to display the images so i go to my code editor inside our main div this is our main div of this one project right so i'm gonna add the comment and this will be uh image crucial indicators start and this will be close start and close inside this section i need to use div assign the class crucial indicators inside there i need to use button tag and assign the tile button right very simple then we need to use data bs target and we need to assign the name of the target which target you will assign on there so i've used a uh, crucial what is the name of this one crucial demo so you need to copy that and paste on there but before using uh, this one name you need to use higher sign and paste this one quote I mean uh, text then the next thing you need to add the data bs slide to and which slide will start you need to assign the number on there for example i want to display the one two three so we need to assign the zero number on there means i want to start the first one image right then the next thing we need to assign the class inside the button the class name is first i'm going to use active this is the first one uh, indicator and i'm going to use image terminal right First, I'm going to save that and let me explain you another thing. But before working on that, I'm going to show you our project. Here is the indicator, first one indicator, as you can see. So we need to assign the image inside this one indicator. So inside the button tag, you need to use image tag and get the image. Which image you want to display? I want to display the first, I mean, second one image. The image name will match on the first one as you can see this is my first slide and this is my first button first indicator you can say that right and then i need to assign the class inside our image code so the first um, d block and width will be one and first i'm going to save that and let's see as you can see image has been appeared down there as you can see guys so first i'm gonna first i'm gonna save that uh, i think we need to uh, this will it close okay perfect i need to format that oh it's format with prettier right so at the first one slide active and everything is perfect so i'm going to copy this one section uh, i mean button tag and paste two times right 
then we need to change few things the first one is slide to one the first one is zero second one is one and third one will be two right and then we need to change the images three and this will be five that's it so let's see as you can see I think we need to uh, check I need to remove active class after the first one because we don't need that uh, let's see perfect so let's um, uh, check out the deep lock with 100 uh, image okay so I go to an abo and I'm gonna use basic style first I'm gonna use body background color will be 3 ccc and then I'm gonna target the class which class crucial indicators copy that and paste on there first of all I will use the first I'm gonna target crucial indicators button and I'm gonna use the just a minute I'm gonna show you data target um, this one this one attribute so I'm gonna copy that paste on there right and inside there I'm gonna use width will be 200 pixel first I'm gonna save that and let's see as you can see uh, and another thing is I will use margin initial indicator margin bottom will be 70 pixel so so let's see perfect but I think we need to check out our data B slide active image terminal and this is a button name D block I think we need to check out where is problem right now okay guys so for that our mistake is we need to add the images which images inside the image folder and inside image folder have another uh, folder with the name of indicator image so we need to target this one so I'm gonna use indicator image and second one image so use same thing on there and this will be three and final this will be indicator uh, five I think it should be display perfect so sir let's see as you can see guys our simple project has been created with the help of HTML5 and CSS and also simple bootstrap so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching have a nice day